Hello, wonderful people. So here we're, we're gonna do an entropy. So we're gonna rate the. Well, I'm going to explain the placements of each character in every single tier. So we're so this video we're starting off with the weak ass tier. So I'm eating cheese. It's right now. Give me a sec. Starting off at the bottom of the list, we have this girl from Toho from Part Two OVA. Um, I don't know what she did. She's, uh, I think she's at the bottom of it because she's a woman. That's it. Next, we have Flapjack from Part 20. I think he's just a child. And yeah, I think that's about it. Next, we have... Uh, next on the tier is um, Swag Robber. Uh, he's appeared in multiple parts as a recurring character. He's in Wick-Ass tier because he kind of loses to everyone he fights. Though, probably not as pathetic, probably not as weak as, like, Flapjack or the woman, whatever her name was. I don't know, I don't play that game. Next is Bastard Cop from Part uh, 6 OVA. I think he's, I don't know, he's racist, so he's bad, he's a bad cop. He's a bad guy and stuff. He, like, just got one-shotted by Legion, and that was about as much as he did. He's also the arch-nemesis of Swag Robber, so he's, so he's placed higher, he, he, because the cop is stronger than the than the robber. That's normally how it works. Next, we have a uh, well-paid, supportive man of society. Uh, he's like the most functional member of society of pretty much any character in entry because he's kind of the most normal. And uh, he's kind of above bastard cop and swag robber because he's kind of, you know, a functioning member of society. That's about it. Then there's Kefka, uh, he's from uh, the from part 11 OVA, before uh, that part got nuked. Um, he was he was, kind, he was like evil, like manipulated donut or some shit, I don't know, he, he was kind of just there and just a distraction and died. Next is Lil B, aka the father of 8 from part 15 and uh, he kind of, he's, he's a, he may, he may look, he may be really small but I consider him stronger than Kepka, well paid man of society or like bastard cop because he because he because he taught eight everything he knew and eight's pretty strong so there's that. Next is Eddie from part nine. He was a monopoly man. He himself wasn't really like that powerful, but he had like bodyguards who had like pistols and stuff, so they were just so they were pretty scary. And that yeah. There's Ton from the original Part 11 OVA. He shouted racial slurs, so he's so he's higher than all the other characters behind him. Next is Spider Man. Spider Man was Spider Man. Spider Man. I wait. Spy, Spider Spider Man got hit by the Thanos truck, which didn't instantly kill him, which puts him above the other characters who would have probably died in one hit to it. Next is Ace from the Part Six OVA. Um, he's a detective, and honestly, I think he's he's a little built different. Yeah, that's it. Cleveland Brown from Part Six. He drives a Lamborghini, so he's pretty rich. So that's why I put him that high. He doesn't really have any common enemies, so yeah. Next on the list is Byleth, the GameStop manager, who in Part Thirteen, who Ferdinand worked for. This is Ferdinand worked for. He's he's like a GameStop manager in. Yeah, he yeah, his life sucks. His life just fucking sucks. Also, he's pretty he's pretty he's pretty cool looking. Next is the Mantis Soldier from the Entropy Adventures, uh I think uh Entropy Adventures expansion 2, which I think is the outbreak. And he, these guys have guns, they're pretty scary. Next is My Name Is Not Important from Part 20. He has guns and and he tried to like shoot like, like do some stuff at an airport, but like he was stopped by the good guys. And uh, he has a mirage and a gun, so he's pretty He's pretty tough. He's pretty tough when he's not going up against stronger characters. Though he's still a weak ass. Next is Nils from Part 6 OVA. Um, he has a book and, like, I think cast in magic. Which is probably better than everything else everyone else behind him has done. So there's that's why he's there. Next is Joseph Joestar. He was uh, in Part 9 OVA. And he has no powers. All he really did was like scream and like 
run away and like was a distraction he was pretty he was pretty he was pretty strong he could probably beat up nils and shit so there's that then there's l from the part six ova um he has the, he like kicked the guy and he and he was he was ready to throw the fuck down so l l can do some 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 wacky stuff next is trapper from part five um so i think uh let's see he was doing some stuff he was uh, i think he actually gil actually someone wait fuck uh so get so i think he was like he was like trained around a pallet and got and got like absolutely bodied by gilgamesh which uh is, is a pretty good feat because because it means he's pretty strong and he, and he makes zombies and stuff he's pretty he's pretty cool next is skeletor from the uh from the entropy chronicles halloween special he was the main antagonist um so he himself he, he's not dangerous at all but like he has the ability to like make a house his his haunted house shift which is which could catch some people off guard otherwise if you fight him he's not really dangerous so why is he uh, much higher than other people if he can't win a fight well it's because he was launched to the moon and since he was launched to the moon that's like strong and he lived and that means he's stronger than everyone else behind him by default and last in the tier is una Lak from part 25 um, he was just, he was just the vessel for, uh, Vatu, and he was pretty, he was, and, and he probably just died immediately the moment he was separated from him, so there, so that's that. So, that's the weak-ass tier, it, it went pretty well, so, next, uh, next time we're gonna be going to the tier above, which I think is the superhuman tier or some shit. There's a lot of characters in that one, so uh, be prepared for that. I have a lot more probably to say about them. I'm not sure. But uh, that was the weak ass tier. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, so like and subscribe and join my Discord in the description below or I'll fuck your mother. Thank you and goodbye.